Good evening, guys. Welcome, Life Apollos. Happy to have you here, as always. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I did not expect to make a video today. I had some things I was going to do tonight. Uh, it's the weekend, you know, celebrating Megan's new job, all that kind of jazz. Uh, but something kind of last minute came across my proverbial desk, and I think we just have to talk about it. Now, the mass majority of the people watching this video right now already probably know what I'm talking about. A couple days ago, we discussed the possibility of a couple large automotive YouTubers, uh, mainly uh, originally talking about Whistle and Diesel and Street Speed 717, uh, leaving the U.S. to go to Ukraine. And as of today, and one of the reasons why this is a breaking news story, uh, that entire scenario just got very real. And as always, guys, if you enjoy automotive and supercar community news content, if you want to get updates like this when it happens, literally found out about this in the last hour, make sure to sub to the channel and like the video, especially on this one, because it's kind of a big deal. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Beard Nation, welcome to your news of the day. All right, guys, so we're going to jump right into the main headline story of the day. Uh, this entire sort of discussion, this idea that we could see major YouTubers from the automotive community leave to go to Ukraine, uh, it all happened a couple days days ago when we saw this on Whistle and Diesel's Instagram account uh, showing a text message conversation uh, with Street Speed 717 Mike saying uh, do you want to go to Ukraine I have some connections been thinking about it myself uh, Whistle and Diesel asking to fight question mark and then Mike getting back to him being like you know fight would be bad for us if we get captured but we could bring supplies money and aid been talking to a few guys over there the bottom of this entire thing said we're considering it and had tag Street Speed 717 in the post. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, when we originally talked about that particular text message, uh, no one, almost no one thought that either of them were actually going to do this. They thought it was for publicity. Uh, even though we've seen Whistle and Diesel and Street Speed 717 uh, post continuously, almost nonstop about the situation in Ukraine, uh, I would say the mass majority of people, at least in, the, in my particular comment section, uh, did not think either of them were going to go through with this at all. Now, myself, I thought there was a real possibility of it happening because I've known Street Speed 717 for a couple of years now. Um, he's not someone that normally BSs about this kind of thing. Now, I can confirm as of this afternoon, this is basically the moment that I got it, guys, that Street Speed 717 and another automotive YouTuber, RF Racing, who has 52,000 subscribers, both of them are going to be on their way to Poland and then immediately afterward, Ukraine. And we got a ton of new Instagram stories uh, talking specifically about this big trip to Ukraine uh, to support the entire effort over there. Um, the first one saying anyone here live in Ukraine and can help facilitate donations. What supplies are needed most? We will be organizing travel shortly saying RF Racing 717 is on board. Immediately afterwards saying also we'll need a few more contacts in Poland. If you're in southeastern Poland and available to help us, let us know. And finally, uh, and I can't pronounce this Polish city, so I do apologize. Uh, him asking who's in insert Polish city here. Anybody we need transport for a day? Gotta be somebody that knows us in that area. Thank you. Now, Mike actually reached out to me. Uh, we chatted about this for a little bit, and he was able to tell me a couple of things that they're gonna be doing over there. So he said he's gonna have like five suitcases full of stuff ready to roll. Med kits, body armor, tank gear, food, etc. So yeah, it appears this thing is absolutely 100% happy happening at this point, and it leaves me with a lot of conflicted ideas and notions about the act itself. On one hand, I think most of us uh, who have been watching the events unfold in Ukraine over the last uh, couple of weeks uh, know that it's an extraordinarily dangerous situation. So on that level, I don't like to see automotive YouTubers that I know and have known for a number of years put themselves in harm's way. On the other hand, though, uh, I gotta hand it to anybody that is willing to put themselves out there uh, to stand up for what they believe in in a war-torn country where uh, the risks are very well known. This sort of thing, uh, as far as I can remember, is not something that has really happened in my sort of like political awareness lifetime. I used to be a political science major, is what I got my degree with in college, and uh, I've never seen anything like this. Not to this particular extent where people have latched on to an idea about the Ukrainian people in such a way that they're willing to go over there. And obviously there have been other conflicts where people have done that, but no one in the automotive community that I have seen uh, quite like this. 
So that about covers the uh, Street Speed 717, RF Racing 717 uh, ordeal right now. And I just wanna say this, I wish them safety in their travels there. Uh, and hopefully it's a very uneventful trip. That's actually what I'm hoping for. Sort of an additional note on this story, no word yet if Whistle and Diesel will be joining them in any sort of capacity, although he has sort of transformed his entire Instagram account to supporting the Ukrainian people in this particular time. And finally, guys, I just wanna hand it off to you. Uh, what do you think? about automotive YouTubers going over there to support the Ukrainian people right now. Are you for it? Are you against it? Uh, feel free to comment below. Make sure to keep uh, the comments civil. Any sort of weird uh, conspiratorial nonsense will be deleted immediately. Not really gonna stand for that. Feel free to spout it elsewhere, but not on my channel, please. And with that, and I'm sure I'll never have a segue good enough to sort of transfer from that sort of serious news to something uh, much less serious, uh, here we go. Next up, guys, I wanna talk about Shmi, his latest video, Bucket List. I raced my AMG GT Black Series 4,000 miles from home at Yas Marina. In a nutshell, guys, if you've not been watching Shmi's videos as of late, you are missing out on some of the best content he has ever produced. His AMG GT Black Series, uh, that entire sort of quest for him has been especially fantastic. Uh, make sure to go check it out, guys. Uh, everything in Abu Dhabi, all of this stuff leading up till now has been phenomenal and has included some of the craziest super and hyper cars anywhere on the planet because of course, we're talking about Dubai. Next up, guys, it's been a little while since we've mentioned Washness Media, and he's got the mother of all M4 videos for you to check out. Um, I feel like all of you guys have heard me talk about his channel uh, many, many, many times over the years. Um, so there's nothing really new I can say here, except I think he's one of the best cinematographers in the business. The bar at which all automotive YouTubers should be trying to achieve, and this is another fantastic video in a long line of fantastic videos. Uh, go check it out guys, you'll very much enjoy this video. Great sound choice or song choice in particular for this one, I think you guys will love it. Then we got a Burlacker video guys, repair bill on my Ford Bronco, was this a bad buy? Uh, you know, what's weird about automotive YouTubers is we buy cars that we know need work and a lot of the times when bad things happen, it ends up making for fantastic content. Repair bill on a Bronco sort of included in that segment. Uh, go check it out guys, Burlacker has seemingly been posting a lot more often lately. So if you like the Utah crew, if you like the Stradman, uh, the Summit Life, all that kind of jazz, Burlacker is definitely a fantastic member of that group. Go check it out, guys. Link for that video in the description below. I've got some pure driving excellence for you today from Tedward, guys. 2021 Porsche 718 Spider. Shorter gears transform this manual six-speed. So um, if you've never checked out Tedward's channel, essentially what his channel is, is POV experiences with just every single type of car, from older cars, from yesteryear from the 60s uh, to super and hyper cars. Uh, one of the first ones that I ever saw from him, and this one blew up to a massive degree, was him screaming down tunnels in a Lexus LFA. By the way, we have some crazy news about that coming up over the next couple days, so make sure to stay tuned about the, uh, well, I'm not gonna spoil it, but there's an interesting uh, discussion of successor talk that I didn't know until yesterday. So anyway, uh, in, in the meantime, go watch Tedward's video if you wanna see some great POV driving with a fantastic Porsche to boot. And finally, Finally, guys, Bladed Angel Ugly, quote unquote, factory car mods that aged well. So this is kind of interesting, guys. And I feel like it actually happens quite a bit in the automotive world. Uh, particular stylistic choices that automotive manufacturers make that maybe uh, sort of on initial look, people don't like, but over time, people start to like more. There's a couple of fantastic examples in this video and Bladed Angel does it in the way that only he can. A very interesting commentary and nobody really out there can emulate what he's doing right now, or at least no one is, go check it out. You'll be happy you did. Maybe you'll add another subscription to your list. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you like uh, these sorts of videos, keeping up with like current events and sort of the, the intermixing of current events and big automotive YouTubers like Street Speed 717. It's not every day we get a chance to cover something like this. So let me know what you guys thought about today's episode. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy out there. And uh, yeah, make sure to ignore the haters because they are hilarious and plentiful. That's all I got for you guys. See you later.